and I read a book, and the book was just from this world that I didn't know anything about. And I suppose that's part of the interest for me was to kind of tell a story in a place where um, it seemed such an important place in, in what's going on in the world right now. And yet, you know, I'd never heard of it. I didn't know anything about it. And it was a story that somehow had all these different layers. It was this story about a boy and a girl, but it's about country. It's about politics. It's about um, religion. It's all these different themes that are still relevant. Kind of strange being over here and being away. Yeah, I, I, it's always nerve-wracking. It's always nerve-wracking. You know, it's kind of out of my hands. Um, you just hope the film is good enough and it stands up. I spent a lot of time in Baku and uh, visited all, you know, the old city where the story happens and did a proper research, the historical research, because I didn't know a lot about the war, First World War, and especially this region. Ali has so much love and passion, and to he loves his country, he loves Nino, he loves his family traditions, and he loves hunting and riding horses. He's got a lot of passion, and I love that about him. We haven't seen that much, so I think that'll be something that audience will be really curious about, and really interested in, and I really hope that it will get there and be seen as much as possible, because I feel like nowadays all we need is a love story between a Muslim and a Christian. <laughs>